So you weren't uh, joking when you said it's big. <laughs> in today's video, we are here at Cafe Milano. We are at the Pepper Mill in Reno. And I noticed this is pretty much the exact same menu as the Pepper Mill restaurant in Las Vegas. It is the same owners. I'm really excited because I love the restaurant in Vegas and I'm sure it's just as good. To start, we got the, the nachos and I'm gonna look through the menu and see what else we're gonna get. Thank you. Less talking, more eating, diet starts tomorrow. So last time I was at the Pepper Mill in Vegas, I had the breakfast and the breakfast is really good and I got a muffin with it and I couldn't stop thinking about that muffin for many months. So I was like, I gotta get the muffin when I come to Reno. So hopefully it's the same. He said it's the same recipe, but I think I had the lemon one last time. So this one might be different, but there's a lot of food coming. Diet starts tomorrow, let's eat. Um, yeah, and keep in mind, most of this stuff is gonna be sharing. They got their own. You got French toast, yeah. and what'd you get? French toast. Bo two French toasts? Yeah. Rookie Great move delicious. for the video, always gotta get something different, but it's okay. I got a few things to show you guys. The nachos and nachos coming right now, what time is it? And it is right now, almost 11 o'clock. Thank you. Does it come with the side of that cheese dip? Macho nachos, we got crispy, tortilla chips, cheese sauce, tomatoes, cheddar and jack cheese, jalapenos, beans, olives, pico de gallo, sour cream, and we added chicken for $5, and the nachos itself are $19.95, and there's our extra cheese. Thank you. You just had to get extra cheese, so here's an extra cheese bowl. Okay, let's see how their nachos are after the same as the other one. Good. Good. Lots of cheese underneath. That cheese sauce is good bonus on it. Very nice. The chips are uh, not dry at all. Good flavor. They made it nice and fresh. Good, good start. Here, try it. Always when you're winning in the casino and you go to eat, like I always say, the food always just tastes a little bit better because you're just like happy that you won. So this restaurant is called Cafe Milano. It's not called Pepper Mill, but it's in the Pepper Mill Casino and Resort in Reno. They do have the Fireside Lounge just like Vegas. You walk in there, you kind of feel like you're in Vegas. And then it's beautiful in here. It's more modern compared to the Vegas one, but it's very nice in here. Nachos are good, so we're gonna eat some nachos and then we'll get our main food. Nachos All right, let's try this. Ooh, it's hot. Thank you. That one's ranch. Okay. Mm. This muffin's so good. It's so good. The nice cinnamon flavor on top. Oh, it's so good. Mm -hmm. You want butter on it? No. <laughs> I don't think I need the butter on it. Six ninety-five oh, is it for the muffin? That's a little expensive for a muffin, but it's so good. It tastes it's nice and warm, like it's fresh. But he said it comes down seven in the morning oh, until they run out. No. All right, so prime rib dip and the conquest over here. Oh, in the conquest, the pepper mill's favorite, nineteen seventy-one. Roast beef, cheddar cheese, tomato, sauteed peppers, onions, bacon, mushrooms, Thousand Island dressing, and grilled Parmesan sourdough for $19.95. Over here we got the prime rib French dip. Oh, ask for availability after 10 p.m. Serve to order, rare prime rib, au jus, horseradish cream, and a torpedo roll. This one is 21. And I got waffle fries and regular fries. Let's start with the prime rib dip. Slow-mo, au jus, dipping tab. Let's see, my drippy prime dip. Oh my goodness. That's so tender. It like melts. This is so good. I did not expect it to be this good. I had the one in Vegas, and I don't remember it being this good. Mm. Hey, you can have more waffle fries. Take some. Oh, oh my god, that's disgusting. The waffle fries? This, this, oh my god, that's gross, guys. <laughs> I, the horse, I can't eat the horseradish. Oh my god, that's gross. I hate horseradish. Oh. Need more prime rib dip. Fast. <laughs> Which one is the ranch? Which is the ranch? They both look like ranch. Try one, try it, try it. Tell me, please, I can't have another one. Horseradish, bleh. Waffle fries, good. This sandwich is amazing, but let's move on to the conquest over here. And I got regular fries over here. Here, Matt. Just fries. Here comes the want, main dessert. He wants me to try the French toast. Put it there. 
I'll try. I'll give it a this try. This one is the cinnamon. Is it good? It's so good. It's actually very good. It's amazing. Oh yeah. It's very good. That's an amazing French toast. But this is more for breakfast, not for now. It's in the morning. Right? It's if you do without the raisins. No, I, I like it. Okay, conquest. I'm not feeling like breakfast right now. Look at this. Look at this, guys. Oh man. I think that's good. Good. Thank you so much. Thank you. This is very good too. Mm. I think that's the winner though. Waffle fries are addictive. These are so good. Dippy do. You gotta try this. You have to. Clear winner. This is really good too. This one has more a mix of the flavors. They blend well together. This one is just straight up good tender beef with the with the dip. This one has a lot of you taste the the peppers, uh, the onions, the meat. Very delicious. And I don't really recommend getting both because one is big enough. I'm getting full. Yeah, we we'll put the order for that brownie. Right now. Yeah. I don't really have room for dessert, but we gotta show it. He says it's big. Just so you know, I don't always eat like this. For the food videos, I like to show a bunch of different things. The sandwich is delicious. This bun is like little uh, grilled on top. It's a very different flavor than this one. This is a simple bun, toasted on the inside. Once you put in the dip, it's so soft. It's a ciabatta bun. So they actually give you a good amount of prime rib in this sandwich. So I recommend this one. Uh, definitely this is the winner. You think this is the winner? That's very good. Yeah. Well, you didn't even try. You want to try this one? No. So you weren't uh, joking when you said it's big. <laughs> 10.95 jumbo fudge brownie and chocolate ice cream topped with hot fudge marshmallow whipped cream and a cherry Get some brownie in this I'll show you on this side. Can we get to the brownie? Let's see how it is mm. It's like a brownie sundae mm. Mm. You got nice soft warm brownie with the hot uh, hot fudge the whipped cream this is good but there's no way you can finish this <laughs> the marshmallows. oh marshmallows too you gotta try it there's hot fudge down there mm. m&ms m &Ms. mini m&ms you can split that with four people Look at that. The fudge is like a, it's like a lake at the bottom. It's like lake meat over here. I don't even know what I'm getting here. It's very rich, brownie. When you get the hot fudge at the bottom and mix it with the cold, geez, this is delicious. How many calories are in this? This is so good. That was delicious. I recommend coming to this restaurant if you're ever in Pepper Mill in Reno. Very, very good. Oh, let me tell you the total. So the total came to 123. Not bad for all that food. Not bad. So the nachos came to 24.95. One French dip, 21. Conquest, 19.95. One muffin, 6.95. French toast, 14.95. French toast, $14.95. One chocolate brownie train, $10.95. A good meal, late night meal. So full, so tired. Let me know what you thought looked the best. What would you get and have you been here before? Thanks for watching this food video. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Where should I eat next? Bye.